بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الآن درسنا رقم ثلاث بعنوان non constant coefficients for differential equations homogeneous case الكيس هاي رح ندرس Euler Cauchy equations رح نأخذ just as as a sample order two and order three بس in general we can write Euler equation in any order that we wish the first form it is a t squared y double prime plus b t y prime plus c y equals to zero. This is the second order for all positive t, and for the third order, a t cubed y double prime plus b t squared y double prime plus c t y prime plus d y equals to zero, where a b c d all are constants. لاحظوا إنه عندنا هون ال coefficients are non constant uh, constants a t squared non constant b t and here a t cubed b t squared are non constants. إذا we need a new technique. We can use the following fact. All our Cauchy equations have solutions of the form y equals R to the power t to the power r. By using this fact, so we can guess what is r. So let's recall that for the Cauchy equation, a t squared y double prime plus b t y prime plus c y equals to zero. If we plug y equals t to the power r, we get y equals t to the power r implies y prime equals r t to the power r minus 1 and this implies y double prime equals r r minus 1 y to the power r minus 2 plug all three terms in the equation there and we get now the following so a t squared a t squared times i y w prime which is r r minus 1 y to the power uh, this is t to the power I'm gonna just fix it so it is t r minus 2 plus now b t times y prime which is r t to the power r minus 1 plus finally c times y which is t to the power r equals to zero so notice that we have t squared and t to the power r minus 2 we get after simplifying t to the power r plus b again t with t power r minus 1 we get br t to the power r plus c t to the power r equals to 0 this is valid for all t greater than 0 now we can cancel out t to the power r from all terms and finally we get algebraic equation r a r r minus 1 plus br plus c equals to 0 and this will call the auxiliary equation for the Euler equation. So this is the auxiliary. Equation. So now we're going we to write now a formal definition for the auxiliary equation. For Euler Cauchy equation. So let me write down here definition for the Cauchy Euler equations in general. So the auxiliary equation for Euler differential equation of second order is a r r minus 1 plus b r plus c equals to 0. Similarly, we can write the auxiliary equation for Euler equation of third order, which is a r r minus 1 r minus 2 plus b times r r minus 1 plus c r plus d and so on so here we have three terms for fourth order we start with four ter terms and so on 
as we have seen in constant coefficients, we have three rules depending on the roots of the auxiliary equation. So also here we have three rules for the general solution. The first rule is if we have two real different roots, R1, R2, then the general solution is y equals to c1 r to the power t to the power r1 plus c2 t to the power r2 remember that we have the we have the guessing for the solution we said it is t to the power r so we found r1 r2 so we have t to the power r1 t to the power r2 okay now for rule number two so if r1 equals r2 repeated roots then the general solution will be y equals c1 t to the power r1 plus c2 t to the power r1 times limit t now we have one in coefficient limit t multiplied by the same solution y1 now if we have repeated three times we're going to multiply by lim t and then lim t squared and so on finally rule number three if we have two conjugate complex roots alpha plus minus beta i then the general solution has the form y equals t to the power alpha alpha is the real part times c1 cosine beta lim t beta is the imaginary part plus c2 sine beta lim t just for comparison with the constant coefficients if we recall that the constant coefficients in the case of constant coefficients we have seen y equals e to the alpha t times c1 cosine beta t plus c2 sine beta t for complex and for real it just e to the t alpha t 1 <coughs> alpha or r1 t r2 t comparing here we have the exponential replaced by t to the power alpha so e to the a t alpha t t to the alpha and now here so and we comparing t with lim t so we replace every e to the alpha t by t to the power alpha or here in the real roots e to the r1 t replaced by t to the r1 and t times e to the power r1 t replaced by limit t t to the power r1 so it looks like we have the transformation t equals e to the or t to the power if we compare this t to the power r it equals r tau by using this change of variable actually we can transform the equation from Euler, Euler Cauchy form to constant coefficients. So, this is the relation between constant coefficients and Euler Cauchy equation. Now we go to examples. We're going to experience more than one example to see how these three rules are working. Now we can start with example number one. Find the general solution to the equation t squared y w prime plus 3ty prime minus 8y equals to 0, where t is greater than 0. So we notice that this equation has non constant coefficients, but it is of Cauchy, Euler, Euler Cauchy equation type. So it uh, has the following auxiliary equation so it is a r r minus 1 plus b r plus c equals to 0 a is 1 b is a 3 and c is minus 8 so we get 
r r minus 1 plus 3 r minus a equals to 0 simplify <coughs> we have r squared minus r plus 3 r so we have 2 r minus a equals to 0 try to factor r minus 4 r minus 2 but we have here 2 so we have a plus equals to 0 now I have two real roots 2 and minus 4 so different roots so the general solution is of the form c1 t to the power 2 plus c2 t to the power minus 4 here is the general solution now we go to the next example now it is a Cauchy Euler or a Cauchy equation of order 3 t squared 2 t t cubed y double prime plus 2 t squared y double prime minus y prime plus y equals to 0 for t greater than 0 now to solve this equation we write the corresponding auxiliary equation it has the form because of now the following a is 1 b is 2 c is minus 3 d minus 1 and d is 1 we get r r minus 1 times r minus 2 plus 2 r r minus 1 the second part and the third part is minus r plus 1 equals to 0 so we're going to try to factor out what we see here r minus 1 is a factor r minus 1 r minus 1 so we can factor out r minus 1 and the rest will be r r minus 2 plus 2 r minus 1 equals to 0 and simplify the quadratic equation we have r squared minus 2r plus 2r minus 1 equals to 0 so this is difference of squares so we have r minus 1 times r minus 1 times r plus 1 equals to 0 I have repeated root 1 1 and distant root minus 1 so we can apply now rule number 1 and rule number 2 at the same time the general solution now becomes c1 t to the minus 1 this is for the distant root now plus c2 t to the power 1 plus c3 t to the power 1 times ln of t because we have two repeated roots 1 1 so it is the general solution for this problem we go to the third example let y equals c1 x to the power one minus one half plus c2 x to the power minus one half when x where x is positive is the general solution to the differential equation a y double prime plus b over x y prime plus one over x squared y equals to zero find a b now this equation looks like Cauchy Euler Cauchy equation but if we multiply by x squared all this the size all this uh, both sides sorry we get now a standard form for Cauchy equation so a y square a x squared y double prime plus b x y prime plus y equals to zero so this is actually all your Cauchy equation of second order and the corresponding equation auxiliary equation is a r times r minus one plus b plus r plus one equals to zero simplifying we get a r squared plus b minus a r plus 1 equals to 0 so now to find a b we have to know the roots and here the roots are repeated because I have the coefficient lin, lin x so I have repeated root which is 1 my 
So minus one half, minus one half. So I have two roots. And remember that any quadratic equation with leader coefficient one, these are the negative of the coefficient of r, and one is the product of both of them. But here we have a leader a. So if I divide over a, I get b minus a over a r plus 1 over a equals to 0 so this is now negative of the sum of the roots and this becomes the product of the roots so what we have here we have two equations 1 over a it will be minus one half squared so a is four and here I have b minus four over four equals minus minus one which is one so I have b minus four equals four so b equals eight so we're using the fact that r squared plus constant times r plus another constant equals to zero if i have two roots then this is the negative of the sum of these roots and this is the product of these two roots i'm using this fact i constructed two equations i solved the first one and plugged the second one i got a equals four <coughs> b equals eight Here's now the last example. Find r so that y equals x to the power r is a solution to the equation 2x squared y double prime plus 11xy prime minus 3y equals to 0. So we notice that this equation is Euler-Cauchy equation. Now we can find the auxiliary equation and the auxiliary equation corresponds to this r. So I have here 3r times r minus 1 plus 11r minus 3 equals to 0. So the values of r will be the solution of this equation. So 3r squared minus 3r plus 11, it becomes 8r minus 3 equals to 0 so if we factor out 3 r r equals to 0 so if I have here 3 here's 1 and the the sum is positive so I have here positive negative so minus 3 yes so now I have either r equals 1 third or r equals minus 3 so both of them we're gonna get a solution for this equation. بالنهاية أرجوكم استفدتم من هذا الدرس وإلى اللقاء في درس آخر.